Okay, so we've just stopped at the side of the road here, uh, up in this high hilly area, because we want to have a look at what we call in the driving book, task six in the driving companion. And it's about gear changing. And I'm currently sitting here and in my automatic car, I've got the gear shift in the drive position. And you can see on the dash here, we've got the letter D for drive. Now, if I move that gear shift over in this car, and all auto, auto cars have some way of doing this, now I can shift it into a manual mode. And there you can see gear one. And then plus and minus moving this backwards and forwards can shift it up and down through the gears. And I'm just gonna show you a situation where you might use that. So we're gonna move off out into the road. In drive, which is great. And then I'm gonna turn and head down this very steep hill. And as we turn and point down the hill, you can see that this is really steep. So rather than use the brakes to hold it down, I'm gonna put it into manual. And this is actually selected the lowest speed, first gear. And it's holding the speed of the car coming down the hill. This is what we call engine braking and it's holding the speed down the hill. I'm gonna brake a little bit, stop the engine over revving. If I wanna go a little bit faster, but still stay controlled, I can shift it up to gear two. Still holding the speed, we're still not running away, we're keeping a good speed down the hill. If I go back to drive, it's gonna roll away freely, and I have to be braking to control the speed. But if I go back into manual and choose a low gear, it'll hold the speed nice and slow if I want to stay slow down the hill. Anyway, that was just a quick look at how we can use these other gears in an auto car to control the speed.